What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here. Today, we're looking at Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 gameplay. That's right, it's finally here. The official gameplay trailer for the game is finally out. I have it right here. We're gonna watch it. We're gonna see if we can find any secrets. You know me, your boy Dak Blake. I'm going through finding all the hidden stuff. We've actually found some stuff in the backgrounds. It's really cool. But welcome to the new news. That's what we call it. We're gonna go through. Let's just watch this right away. And uh, yeah, then we'll, we'll break it down. All right, let's begin. I am excited. I am looking forward to this. It seems like it's the Smiling Critters. Hold on. There's Catnap. Oh. Oh, a workforce danger alert. Oh, I already see things that are hidden. Whoa. Oh, man. The following message is for all Playtime Company employees. Uh-huh. <laughs> Have you heard the news? Oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at how good that looks. Okay. Oh, oh, did you hear that? It was like, find the flower. That oh. thing, Catnap. The prototype is his god. The prototype, what, whoa, whoa, whoa. And this is what he does to heretics. What? What's happening down here is bigger than all of us. What? The, 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 the plan. Everything's being revealed all at once. So we can get okay, revenge okay. on those monsters who've tortured you. Who've tortured us. Oh my gosh. We're coming. Just hold on. Oh, Proto there's so many things to we gotta break down here. I've already seen this. so many things. For everything. Wucky! Oh my gosh! Chapter 3, Deep Sleep. This is amazing. First of all, I gotta say, this thing is intense. In like, not even two minutes, they packed in so much information. So for example, they showed the uh, smiling critters in the beginning, right? That is the, um, what is it? The show we've been looking at and trying to break down for like the past like three new news episodes, you know? So it says emergency alert system effective 8-8-1995. Eight, eight, um, I'm sure that's really important. They always have like, Importance and dates, huh? That was, I think, the day of the Theodore thing, right? Maybe? Oh, I guess we never knew. This transcript that we learned about for Theodore uh, and the whole event of basically the prototype affecting this kid, Theodore, and getting him to do everything. We never find the date. It's just crossed out. <laughs> but it says Playtime Company issues a workforce danger alert, of, presumably because Catnap is just going on a rampage, right? So I... I want to just go through kind of in order and reveal everything. There's a lot of things that I already like figured out. First of all, though, <laughs> there's uh the TV is called a Poppytron 502. I, I don't know if they're just calling this particular TV a Poppytron or if Playtime Co. is producing TVs and calling them Poppytrons. I don't know. Okay, so it's have you heard the news? Look at this. So this is an entire like indoor house. I I, I mean like, is it like? A set? Is this the set of Smiling Critters, but like in real life almost? It has Poppy as like a statue on the front, but like you could see that it's within an entire set. You know, I mean, you could make the claim that this could be where everybody lives. This is like the little dorm where the orphanage uh, is held, you know? You know, we always have these ideas and, and people's theories of what Playcare even looks like. Maybe this is just what Playcare looks like because the next scene shows that same room that we've seen before, but destroyed. If you remember this before, we have Catnap up here and this is kind of what it looks like. I didn't really even see it being that bad, but maybe all of the destruction is kind of over there. Wait, wait, do you see it? Over there is the overturned uh, bunk bed. And I think when it gets into the, the thing, it's right there. So this is the same room. It's not even like, I guess this is the destruction that already happened. So, um, you know, there's been a lot of theories about, you know, what is actually going on here. And it's obvious that uh, Catnap is the one going on the rampage, but they say later in the thing that the prototype is the one he's kind of working for. I mean, you can make almost like an idea of like, hey, the orphanage was going um, kind of smoothly. Things were doing, uh, like they were doing experiments, but then the prototype was like, hey, Send Theodore on over. We're gonna get things done. And then Catnap was like, sure thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna go take care of things. Then it almost seemed like Catnap went a little crazy, destroyed everything, 
I'm sure there was pushback as well from all the Playtime Co. employees trying to stop Catnap. And then, and that's the destruction you see right here. I want to play it at like half speed to just see if we can find anything. Um, I see like power supplies for like the hands and stuff. I saw like a Huggy Wuggy mask on the floor there. There's nothing that seems to be like, like I guess sticking out to be important. And then there's this, the gas mask that everybody's been speculating about. We know that it's gonna be used uh, for the red mist that Catnap, uh, what is it, shoots out, but we never knew how it was gonna be like given to us. And it's just hanging up in the orphanage, I guess. This is so cool that they're showing like the gameplay of it. Like the hands even look like crisper for some reason. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at them. They even have like little shiny parts on the bottom. Like I think they overhauled the look of everything. And then we have all of the smiling critters right there with catnap in the center. I wonder if there's anything about this image here, if there's anything hidden in this scene, because it almost seems like you would just skip past this, but you could see kind of the background almost just like an archway leading into something kind of crazy over there. I imagine you can walk past this in the game and kind of like this would just be the aura in front of like, hey, something scary up ahead. If you look, there is something written on the top. I can't really see what it is, but it almost says like, I would assume that this would be the like an R, a D, an I, and then a, a V? I don't even know. What, what could this letter be? Or is it even anything? I mean, that those look like letters, right? And then it talks about how the children have suffered, which is part of the orphanage. Man, it's just so crazy to see how the story is just, you know, divulging into this like, like craziness about an orphanage and testing on kids and how they tried to like merge it into toys and then turn those toys into giant creatures. I don't know why they did that. They didn't see anything wrong with making giant toys in the Bigger Bodies Initiative, you know? There's literally a document um, hidden in the ARG uh, that was talking about Experiment 1188, which I think might've been, um, that might've been Catnap actually. Oh, it is. Experiment 1188 Bigger Bodies Proposal is a document of a project proposal for Catnap. People are also saying, and I didn't even know this, that, um, that Catnap might actually be Theodore since Theodore was so loyal to the prototype. But that seems kind of crazy. Why would they, why would they basically make some loyal subject to some crazy other project? You know, I don't know, I don't know. But everything is kind of like classified on this document. It says in essence, 118 will be every bit the blank play care requires. Something about rerouting blood and oxygen. Uh, uh, something about prematurely decoupling the brain stem from the spinal cord. All these experiments that they are doing on these orphanage kids. Oh yeah, it says a gas delivery apparatus will be affixed to the back of the esophagus. Yards of purple fabric overlayer matching SC style guide. Wait a minute. I mean, this document is almost like confirming 100% that catnap is pretty much like Theodore. Because all of the documents lead to basically saying like, hey, Theodore loves this, uh, what is it, guy prototype. Also, we have a perfect candidate, it's, it's him, you know? I mean, maybe also the sign that the drawing of Theodore, he's purple, eh, maybe. But it says to further the cat-like qualities of the toy's anatomy, we've opted to include retraction devices within the pots, allowing the blank to act in much of the same way as a cat's claws. Oh man. While lacking blank, thus differentiating him from experiment 1170. You know what it probably says? While lacking sharp teeth. <laughs> I don't know. And 1170 is Huggy Wuggy. And we believe in order to maintain a more friendly feel. Oh man. It should be outfitted with all this stuff if only to heighten his sense of blank. Oh man. Okay, so keep that in mind as we continue to watch this trailer. So, Catnap, as your friend, uh, it continues. Uh, it says, please stay in your beds. Oh, on the bottom, what does it say? Please stay in your beds following lights out protocol. Oh man, this must be like a really sad place to be. And then we have the prototype. So it's really crazy to see what's actually connected. The prototype, it has everything we've seen. It has the arm of Mommy Longlegs. It has Huggy Wuggy here. It has PJ Pugapillar in entirety, but also out of PJ Pugapillar's mouth, there's like uh, 
like a playtime co-worker right here. There's other just stuffed toys. I wonder if this is the actual Huggy Wuggy though. Oh man, I, I don't even know. It's such like a creepy character. It's crazy because they've now also confirmed in this trailer that the prototype is kind of working with Catnap, like I said before. And he says, and this is, and this is what he does to heretics, which matches the first trailer we've ever seen with it. So this was the first trailer that, or I guess it was teaser number two, but what did it say? Followers of the path, uh, something, never forget. The hour of joy, my somniferous flock, which means like my sleepy flock, I think. Wow, it's kind of crazy to see as well. All the little details they gave us so early, but we really had to just figure it out. And then who is this though? We gotta put this in Photoshop and increase the brightness. All right, so we're here in Photoshop. I'm trying to increase the brightness here. Oh man, it doesn't show anything. How did they perfectly hide this in darkness? Who are you? What are you doing there? From what it seems like, it seems like these are like ears hanging down. We've got like an ear here, an ear here, and then the head is facing down. And, and I, always, I always make the joke that every single time we do like a news video, I'm like, and you can see there, right there, I'm like drawing on the board. Come on, look at this. This is definitely gonna be somebody that's important, huh? I think it's a brand new character. I don't think we've ever seen this person, huh? Well, I guess we'll have to see, huh? And then this, do you see that animation? Just goes down, turns into the purple hand, which is I guess a bouncing hand. Look at this thing. It has like springs all over it. And then this. So we have Huggy Wuggy here on the TV, obviously in the creepiest fashion, just dark eyes, sharp, thin teeth. But what does that mean? Is this the next stage of Huggy Wuggy? You know, he fell down <laughs> trying to capture us. Now he's just back and he's even crazier. Who knows? We also did kind of see him on top of the prototype. But they said that he was gonna be in the game. I don't know what that means. Like it did kind of just look like that's him right there, but maybe not, maybe that's a different one. Maybe that's a mini Huggy Wuggy. And so it says these children are saved. Um, oh, look at this. So we have like a power facility over on the left-hand side. Hold on, we gotta do this slow. You could even see the word power over there. And then there's like a giant puzzle room here with power. This is the part you just saw Catnap walk across the screen. So here we go, Catnap walking it looks like almost on all fours Look at this that's kissy messy just right there <laughs> okay so i don't i don't know what's going on here are we going up an elevator what is this thing because we're just watching poppy talk poppy's on top of kissy messy who seems to be just smiling happy you know doing great I am so confused with that. And then this, we always had the importance of this phone, but we've never used it. But this is all where the calls took place. All of the transcripts of everything. This could just be alluding to the fact that everything was discussed by all these poppy, or not playtime co-employees. And they were discussing all of these experiments. And then we have the mists, these new rooms that we have to explore with the gas mask. Oh man, so it's a celebrate, rejoice. And then we have Oh, it almost looks like chapter one there. Sleep. And then, and then well, there, they're dog days. So these smiling critters are gonna actually be characters that are moving around. That's creepy. Oh man. Okay. That's that's gonna be very scary. And then we have Catnab, who looks so crazy. I mean, the limbs are so long that he's not, like able to walk on all fours like a cat, but he's giant. He is so giant. He's got like a tail, this giant smiling face with glowing eyes. And, and now we know with all of the information that we just read as well, that there's an apparatus to deliver gas. I mean, we're even in the red mist there. I guess the whole disappointing thing about today though as well is that we got information that the game is gonna be delayed. It says, hello everyone. Today we made the unfortunate decision to delay Poppy Playtime uh, chapter three several additional weeks into 2024. So that means it's not even gonna be in December and it won't even be until like the third week of January at the late or at the earliest. So you know, while this news may be disappointing, this was a tough decision for us to make and we hope you can accept our apologies. And they wanna just basically work in the quality. And the thing is, is that I, I really want them to make a great game because a game that's released early, I think there's like a quote uh, that, uh, how, wait, who said, who said this? Oh, it's from uh, Miyamoto. It says, uh, what is it? The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in 1995. 
Uh, the quote is, a delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is forever bad. Which is true, because if this game came out and it was glitchy, it was bad, you know, like, oh, your save progress didn't save, now you gotta start from the beginning, you would play this game and be like, you know what? Uh, I don't even care anymore. So, you know, that's always the, the grain of salt you have to take with it, is that once they make it perfect, it's like, okay, now the game is great and I don't have any bad thoughts about it, you know? So I'd, I'd rather them delay it than release it bad. But man, the quality of the game looks so incredible. Another secret thing that was hidden in the background, as you can see right here, there's a little text right before we go into the vent. I mean, I have no idea what this word is, uh, but it says, I don't know, awaits those who believe. But I think that's it. It was just kind of dropped on us today. All of this information, the fact that we get all this gameplay, but also they were like, hey, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit later. <laughs> but I'm still pumped. I think it looks amazing. The fact that they've worked on this for two years um, uh, makes me believe that this is gonna be an incredible chapter. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. <laughs> we had some great times here today. Hopefully I made you laugh. Hopefully you enjoyed. We got a lot of cool stuff coming this week as well. I got some mod stuff planned. I hope to make you smile on those next episodes and hey if you're new welcome to the channel subscribe for more new news we're gonna be trying to you know trying to cover every single news uh that comes out but yeah if you subscribe we're gonna be on our way to three million subscribers which i think on every day i'm able to do this and you know what i will see you in that next episode probably coming up right now i'll see you there thank you guys for watching and as always peace out my dudes